Hello comic fans, here is Earl Grey with a Saturday morning special of Penology, hence the coffee, not the tea. Cheers. Mm. Where to start with this here? Uh, maybe with this uh, huge tome, uh, the comic atlas uh, from Finland. Uh, I got this once uh, some years ago. Um, <laughs> And to be honest with you, this is such a huge anthology, huge tome that it sat on my shelves quite a while until I uh, re actually read it. But uh, this is really a recommendation uh, because it has great comics from different Finnish creators. Uh, this one here is uh, very interesting by one um, Marco Turunen sort of fantastic autobiography uh, so he has this guy here as a stand in for the main character uh, for for himself um, so he's called Marco Turinen as well um, but I show you this for another reason because in it is a comic strip by Tommy Musturi as well that's not this one here, and that one neither, but here, this one. It's recalling the last days of this old man here, and uh, nothing really uh, outstanding happens uh, there. He's just hanging there uh, in the backyard, and um goes shopping or uh, tends his garden and something like that um but very nicely told and and you sometimes see his wife uh, for instance here in the car but it's pretty open and ambiguous if she's still around or uh, just in his imagination and i would say rather the latter because yeah as it is with the old folks uh, my father for example he always speaks of my mother uh, as uh, if she's still around but she for don't know some years uh, isn't anymore very silent uh, moody comic and uh, the um, rigid grid really uh, fits into uh, this um, kind of st uh, storytelling. So if you can get your fingers over here uh, on this reproduct thing, it's uh, only German, uh, mind you. But of a certain interest for all of you should be his uh, private anthology of sorts called Future, published in a yearly rhythm. Um, by an outfit by his very own company so to speak called Boeing Being and if you want to have these you just have to google Boeing Being and go from there. I think I even haven't uh, to pay um, postage and uh, he ships worldwide. Um, Comic Crack showed uh, the stuff here in one of his videos and brought me onto this. Otherwise, I would have wouldn't have noticed, noticed uh, the, these comics here, uh, to be honest. And it would be a shame because they are colorful, they are beautiful, they are very well produced, as you can see. And each and every artwork, page, and story was done just by Tommy Musturi. So it's a one-man show we are uh, witnessing here. Um, the color reproductions are really amazing and uh, they have, they borrow from very different sources, uh, these old um, horror comic magazines for an instance, we, so we have some kind of gatekeeper uh, telling us weird stories about um, yeah, a far off future, hence the title. And uh, he has, he makes the impression that he has a very distinct vision in his mind, even though uh, the stories hint here and there onto this vision very ambiguously, which I really like. And 
the different art styles he is able to come up with are fantastic. And this is a, such a great introduction for what he is going here. Uh, so we have this family picnicking at uh, some kind of yeah, um, special place and, and dangerous place called Prolog. So it's all a prologue because the certain the certainties the uh, the deceivingly uh, simple paradise around this cliche family breaks under their butts and this is actually the future the world has in stock for us so, and you can already see here these amazing colors that are very typical for all these books um, and that remind me a bit of risograph printing especially some structures that you can get here and there are very risography uh, even though i think this is a uh, standard offset printing next story uh, seemingly has nothing to do with the first one because it's yeah it's a sci-fi story as well but about a um, spaceship and in the the form of in the shape of um, a plastic bag floating through space and we can witness the dialogue of the astronauts within and it's continued in the next uh, issue as all these stories are continued in the next one more or less and we have these strip uh, comic strips which are a bit more about uh, just fooling around with this format either because he wants to try a bit of everything and you can see the the styles uh, that he uses are very different all very interesting um i would say the stories and even the artwork work to some degree is um like uh, 2000 ad in a bit smaller format 2000 ad is originally magazine sized in a smaller format and filtered through the brain of some modern hippie if you will so it has uh, the this basic idea which is the idea of 2080 as well to have a universe a, a sci-fi universe in which uh, the stories are playing and more or less loosely connected to each other and you have here these loose connections between these stories um, so it's not just one mastermind behind all of this by the way, I love these very raw uh, stories. Uh, this, in this uh, first uh, issue, it's just one pager, but it will get more space in the next iterations. And this is, of course, a different beast here playing around with these crazy um, futuristic shapes and colors. And stylistically, maybe... Uh, the, the one of the better stuff here within and this was volume uh, or issue one and you can't go wrong when you pick all of them but if you want to check out future i would recommend to get maybe just future one because it's a great start to the series and the most recent um, issue future five um, because we don't have a tight plotting here so it's not so much about a series of events that you have to follow but uh, the atmosphere the vision of the future that is uh, sh uh, shown to us here and uh, you will get this if you just pick up one um, issue of the series to be, be honest with you even though this would be a bit of a shame because all these issues are beautiful as the back covers are. Uh, again, we have this kind of frame narration here going on. Um, here, it, the most prominent space is taking, taken by uh, this hippie vision of the future called, a city called Chantra, or should I say, uh, rather a village of Centra where everything is nice and cozy and well working. And this is some kind of, sometimes a bit soothing amongst all the other dystopian storytelling that is on the shelves right now uh, to have someone who actually envisions how he wants to 
the future to be. At least this is what I get from there. I, I don't get any irony or something like that from it. It's uh, just, yeah, some, some kind of hippie-esque future in a way. But as you can see, uh, Tommy Mosturi follows his different art styles through these issues here. So this is a continuation of that story we have witnessed already in issue one and that was continued in the following issues. And here's a sort of continuation of that other story, which reminds me very much of the more satirical stories in 2000 AD. As I said it, uh, yeah, this is really yeah, 2000 AD filtered through the mind of some hippie brain, even though we have some other comic world influences here as well. He doesn't shy away from anything and uh, this is a social, yeah, if you will, a social satire about this nerdy guy uh, hanging around behind his computers all the time and taking over the world in a way. So, a bit Tintin-esque character there. And if you're on the Boeing Being website, it doesn't hurt to grab uh, some other stuff or to look around if you find uh, some other stuff of interest for you. As I get, got uh, the head here from Tommy Mosturi. Um, and there's a lot of other stuff here. Um, but I couldn't get everything. This uh, definitely has some Rizo wipes here, or Rizo wipes. Um, this is, as you can see, of course, a pure art book here, fooling around, experimenting with comic art and, and structures and and so on. Very interesting here is uh, this comic by Jirki Aikinen, Papa Road. Um, on the first glance, it's a wild art book as well, but you will discover it's really a story that waits for you to be deciphered there decoded um, or maybe made up by the beholder but in a good way it's uh, not so that we <laughs> just giving some random stuff and uh, now you can figure out yourself what the artist maybe have thought about it it's a bit more like that but it's very um, ambiguous and of course very beautiful to look at um, interesting format and um, yeah just a nice little extra piece to the boeing being stuff that i ordered so thanks for listening and watching goodbye